What's up guys, how you all doing? For today's video we're going to put to the test Zippo Axe. I bet you never even heard of this thing. You all know Zippo lighters. Let's see what it's all about. So this tree fell down, I need to clean it up anyway, so it's perfect time to do a quick review and at the same time clean up this tree and fix my fence. As you can see it has a cover, I actually been using it for a while and I use it most of the time to make some kindling or I used to anyways. There is layer oxide here and then you can put cover back on and that way on this side you can have a mullet or a hammer whatever you want to call it and I'm going to show you what we can use it for. Let me show you a little bit more detailed. You open this part right here, boom. Then inside here there will be two saw blades. We will need only one. Then you're going to open this part and put it onto this layer bolt. And then we're going to close it and screw it on tight. Now this one you see how it opens all the way in here. So that way you can actually put it into this hole and close it and close it. Boom. And your saw have been set up. Very simple. Okay, I'm going to cut off the branches first. Let's see how well it's going to cut. It has plenty of weight, that's for sure. And keeping it in mind, this is dry wood. Dry wood is a lot harder to cut. Wow, this is fast. Nice. This is quickly. Okay, let me tie another branch right here. Boom. Simple and easy and fast. And I'm cutting this one for firewood, so I'm gonna start over here. Like butter. As you can see, definitely not meant to cut very thick branches because I'm halfway in and I'm almost hitting this handle on a wood. So this is probably the thickest logs I will be able to cut. We almost got it. There you go. And one more piece right here. As you can see, it cuts it really, really fast. And let's just finish off this piece. Boom. You see how this thing would not come off, it kind of got stuck. Let's cut it off. There you go. So you know what? This saw is actually awesome and comes with two blades. This axe is made for smaller branches. And to take it all apart, take this off. Boom. Unscrew this part. Put the blade back in. Close it, close it, flip this, and you're ready to use an axe. This axe is made for smaller branches. One thing I kind of don't like is this part is in the way, so maybe I can open it like this when I use an axe. As you can see, it's chopping branches off pretty good. There's some more branches. Nice, one hit. Perfect. And again, if you're camping and you need firewood with the smaller sticks, Perfect. Nice. Small tweaks like that is easy. Awesome. Definitely not the most comfortable handle right here. 
because of all these squares kind of makes my wrist tired but yeah this is what you use the axe for maybe smaller twigs sticks like that easy you see there you go and you got firewood Oh my gosh, wasps attack me. Ooh, I want to deal with those wasps anymore. Wasps bite so bad, I don't think I got bitten though. Whew, almost got bitten in the ear though. Also, you can make steaks. I was gonna do it on a tree, but there's wasps attack me pretty bad. So use an ax to make it sharp. Be careful, don't cut yourself. Put cover back on so that way you don't cut yourself and then if you need to drive in a stake, use this hammer side and just drive it in. Maybe I should have picked out a better stick, but as you can see, this is deep in there. So you can set up your tent really easy. You see, it's hard to take it off. There you go, it was that deep. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. But you know what I just realized? There is a crack all the way around. That's not good. And I don't want to use it and this axe handle going to fly into my foot or something. What do you think about this tool? At first I really really liked it. It's an axe and a folding saw. But I'm really sad that it's actually cracked over here.